Get ready to be terrified, because Shinji Mikami, the man behind the Resident Evil series, and also one of the grandfathers of survival horror, has returned with The Evil Within. Uh, the Evil Within is a pure survival horror game. Uh, it's being made by a team down in Japan uh, called Tango Gameworks, which is uh, led by Shinji Mikami. Uh, if you don't know, Shinji is one of the fathers of survival horror. He created the original Resident Evil series, um, and he and the team really wanted to take uh, horror back to its roots, to true survival horror, which means scarcity of resources, making the player feel terrified all the time and sort of never letting up, and not creating a game where you have weapons and lots of ammo and you just shoot everything that's in your way until you get the end and then it's over. Um, that, that, you're, that you feel helpless and scared and, and terrified, but you still keep your wits about you and manage to think your way, think your way through or, or around problems, puzzles, areas, things like that. So, you know, one of the things I think that Shinji has talked about is that it is a challenge to make a survival horror game versus when he first created the first ones and, and sort of started the genre, because what's scary today is not the same as what was scary back then. Back then, things like blood and gore on their own were scary, and so you could use that as an element of horror, and that was enough. Now those things are in any kind of action shooter, whatever game, you see that stuff all the time, and it just doesn't have the same effect. So, Evil Within takes a much more measured psychological approach to sort of blur those lines so that both you and the character you're playing, Sebastian, don't understand what's going on, where am I, where am I now, where was I just, like what's happening, um, what are these things that I'm, like all of those things are questions and really the story of the game is one that, that we're not talking about, that you as the player have to unravel and figure out as you're going along, that we want everything to sort of be um, revealed to you as, as you're going along and you're trying to piece together and figure out for yourself, is this what's happening? Is this what's happening? Is that a manifestation of this or is it something else? Is, is all of this just taking place in my head? Um, all of those are things that we want you to think and feel and I think the way that it is, um, the way it is presented is not just a one note horror game. It's not just Saw where it's like, well, it's always just a big dude with a chainsaw who's popping out of closets and trying to kill you. Like, it, it is, a, is a blend of things, whether it's the, the enemies you face and sometimes even the mildest of enemies when you don't have a lot of ammo and you're really hurt, like, that could be terrifying. Like, I'm wounded, I'm limping, how am I going to get away from these things? Can I make it to that door in time? Um, or getting through a puzzle or a trap where you have, like, you have 10 seconds to figure this out or you're dead. Um, you know, the intensity of that, the immediacy of it helps keep the player off their toes and sort of not just always having there be horror elements, but the absence of that can also be really unsettling. That if you go two minutes or three minutes and you're just exploring and trying to find resources in a house and nothing has happened, you're like, well, is the next door that I open the one that's, you know, where I'm going to be something terrifying? Or maybe it's not even that, maybe it's something else. Never really being sure, like, when you're safe and when you're not safe is, is, that, is that dynamic, keeping the player off balance and, and keeping them terrified. You know, again, it's, uh, you know, when you talk about survival horror in, in a game, it is about um, giving the player control and then how you are making them feel while they're in control. Again, in a movie, you are, you are sitting there as a spectator and it may frighten you because of, because of the way it's presented to you, but it, it doesn't really have anything to do with you. In a game, it does. Um, you're, tr you're scared and then also trying to keep control of this character and fight off the bad guys or avoid, avoid being killed in the trap or um, escaping and hiding under a bed or in a locker to, to, and hoping that the guy gets past you and you are the one who's experiencing and doing all of that. It's your character so you have to not only be terrified but continue to play and, and be in control and that's a very different experience than, than a book or a movie. <laughs> I'm Todd Kenrick. This is my new YouTube channel, Invader Boom. It's all about video games and nerd culture. We have videos coming out every single day. So please subscribe so you don't miss anything. And thanks for watching.